Good evening. Welcome to my Realty Coffee Talk show. My name is Tahir Aikrashi. I am your host tonight. My goal is to create awareness and consume and consumer trust in real estate. This program will be live on Awaz Entertainment Network and my Realty Coffee Talk show on Facebook every Thursday at 7 p.m. Topic of the show tonight is real estate, is how the real estate is regulated in the province of Ontario and function of real estate. It is important that you know the real estate profession is regulated in the province of Ontario. During our program, I will apprise you about the functions of the regulator and organize real estate. Now I am taking this opportunity to introduce our honorable guest who are speaker beside me, Aisha Singh. She's a president of Misaga Real Estate Board. Nelson Goliard is a vice president of Misaga Real Estate Board. Then we have Ken Finch. He's an ex-president of Real Estate Institute of Canada, a Toronto chapter. So you all welcome. Good to be here. So we're going to begin our program to tell you a little bit about uh, real estate regulation. Before we do that, I'm going to ask my guest to introduce themselves uh, to all of you. Aisha. Well, first of all, Tahir, thank you very much for having you us are, you on your Realty Coffee Show. Uh, my name is Asha Singh. I'm the current president of Mississauga Real Estate Board. I am a realtor. I have been in the business for over 33 years, and I'm a proud member of the Mississauga Real Estate Board and also of Toronto Real Estate Board. Hi. Also, uh, thank you very much for the invitation. It's an honor to be here in your inaugural show, uh, participating with this illustrious group here at this panel. I'm uh, Nelson Goulart. Uh, I'm the vice president of the Mississauga Real Estate Board, the chair of communications, and uh, I'm also a, a broker of record running an office called Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Miss uh, Signature Service in Mississauga, and I've been an active realtor since 1989. Ken? Hello, I'm Ken Finch, uh, broker with Royal Page Signature, also uh, FRI and CPM with Real Estate Institute of Canada, as well as a uh, dealer representative with uh, Stavlock Management, which is uh, real estate investments in the, the private capital market. So uh, yeah, thank you to here for the, uh, you know, inviting us on the launch of uh, Coffee Talk. So yeah, we're excited to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, as you can see, uh, that they are industry leader in real estate, and you we're going to learn a lot from them. And we will talk different questions. We have a conversation. So before we begin that, the important thing for all of you to know that the real estate in Ontario is regulated, and the regulator is Real Estate Council of Ontario. There is an act. It's the Real Estate Business Broker Act, and I think that is being revised now. So Aisha, would you want to tell us uh, the new changes that are coming up uh, on uh, uh, Trust in Real Estate Services Act, which is going to upgrade uh, RIBA? You want to share something with us? Absolutely. Um, as Nelson and I, will, we were both at the Realty Conference that was hosted by Ontario Real Estate Association. And at that time, we got the great news that TRESA has passed. This is our new rules and regulations that's been brought into the real estate industry because it was due for an overall for a long time. And REBA 2002 has been in practice for, as you can see, for at least 18 years. And we wanted to make sure that our membership knows that this has passed. And I'll get Nelson to expand a little bit more on that because Nelson is not only a vice president of our Mississauga Real Estate Board, but he's also chair of communications. Well, we were excited. Well, the industry is very fluid right now. We're seeing changes at all levels of the industry, whether it's local board levels, whether it's at uh, regulatory levels like RICO. Um, everything's changing, everything's modifying, everything's changing with the time. So one of the nice things with the Trusted Real Estate um, uh, the Service. Services Act was that it brings into a few things that people have been talking about that needed updating. As Asha said, like for over 20 years, uh, REBA 2002 has, uh, has regulated our industry, and now we're going to see 
clarification of designations. Uh, we're going to see incorporation. There's quite a list of it, and we're excited that just yesterday uh, it passed royal assent. So it's basically in place now, and now the rules and bylaws are being written for it. So we're excited for the rollout that will be coming in the coming weeks and months ahead for us. Ken, you want to enlighten like something about well, it? Yeah, no, definitely. There's some positive changes that are coming through. Uh, they're uh, going to be promoting uh, specialized uh, designations. They're going to start with uh, commercial realtors, just uh, so it sets them apart from residential. Some other good uh, aspects are the uh, personal corporation, so realtors will be able to uh, incorporate. They've been uh, able to do this in uh, BC for quite a while now, so it's uh, good to see that we've got that coming in Ontario as well. Fantastic. That's great. Get input from my our panel. So as you know, the Real Estate uh, Council of Ontario, we call RECO, uh, they, are, they regulate education program, uh, education, registration, compliance and, and consumer protection program. These are the ones that they monitor and, uh, and they implement and when people get past their education program, they come to the brokerage. So I'm going to ask uh, Aisha again to, and also Nelson, when a realtor pass, a, a person passes education program, how they, uh, they are registered with the RICO? Can you enlighten us? Sure. Yeah. Nelson, you're a broker of record of yeah. your company. So the, the, once they get their marks and they're ready to go, then they have to start the, the journey of selecting a brokerage. Um, they can't operate on their own. They have to register with a brokerage in Ontario that's registered uh, with, uh, the, with RICO. And they have to go through the task of interviewing, asking the questions, um, what's required, what will that brokerage provide, once they register with that brokerage, then it starts the education process and the experience starts right at that stage. But the first stage is they have to register with a brokerage in the market that they will be working. Okay, I think they require police certification also to make sure the people who have any bad credit or... They do run a background check. check. They have to, that's just part of the registration process. So yes, they have to do a, a, a police background check. Everybody has to. Um, and what they've also changed is before you never used to have to do it when you renewed your licenses, but now they're asking for that on more frequency, so it's good. And they also do continuing education once they have the license, correct? Correct. Yeah. Good. So this is where we are, we uh, were mentioned here is that every realtor that you see is a, uh, is a, uh, get a license from RICO to practice as a salesperson, broker or broker record. The realtor word that you use all the time is really not a license. That's a trademark of Canadian Real Estate Association. So you have to be a member of Canada, Canada Real Estate, uh, is a Canadian Real Estate Association mm -hmm. in order to use the, the, the trademark. Uh, trademark, correct? Correct. So that's uh, good. So now we're gonna go a, a, a little subject about today that RICO is the regulator that regulates real estate business. Then we have organized real estate, which is Canadian Real Estate Association. They control trademark as a realtor, MLS, and uh, realtor.ca, correct? Correct. Okay. And national issues. Na it's yes. a national yeah, issues. issues. Correct. Then we have URIA, Ontario Real Estate Association, that deals with uh, lots of our form that we use in our real estate uh, transaction, correct? Mm -hmm. And, and us, also yeah. they... They, 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 their jurisdiction is Ontario. After that, we have a boards. There are 39 boards uh, in, 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 uh, in, in, in Ontario. So today we are sitting with uh, our president of Misaga Real Estate Board, because I'm also a member of Misaga Real Estate Board, and Vice President Nelson. So we're going to talk about uh, Misaga Board. Can you tell Aisha, what is the history of Misaga Real Estate Board? Can you tell us a little bit about our audience? I am so passionate about that, so I'm glad that you asked. Mississauga Real Estate Board was formed in 1954, so we've been around for over 65 years. Wow. And there, at that time, there were only 38 realtors who got together and created this organization. You can imagine this city that has over 800,000 people that Mississauga Real Estate Board has been around for over 65 years. And the board actually works for its membership, but also for the consumer. 
because real estate board is not for profit. So we only do what we need to do for our membership, for the growth of the membership, and for the professionalism of our, 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 our realtors. And Mississauga Real Estate Board is really proud to say that we are raising the bar when it comes down to professionalism. So I would say, add to it, that how, what are the role and responsibility of the board and committees? Can okay. you elaborate so people are educated about it? Absolutely. So the board, as you know, the membership elects the board of directors and the board of directors elect the uh, president, vice president, and of course the president elect. So with, on director's part, we have governance, we have education, we have membership, we have finance, we have MLS, events, arbitration, and communications. So we have all these committees that the board of directors run with the help of volunteers. So at this part, I like to just put this part, little part in that we're looking for volunteers to come and join our committees so we can serve the membership. And once you become a volunteer, you get to see why you want to be part of your board. Why do you want to be part of organized real estate? And I think, Tahir, that's where you were coming to, is organized real estate is not just for the realtors to be able to practice. It is more so what can we do for our consumer. And there is a lot of examples that we will be able to bring forth to get the public to know the why the organized real estate is important and why they need to belong to the local board to be able to deal with the issues that come in in the local community. Canadian Real Estate Association deals for the, level, there were the national issues. Ontario area deals with Ontario issues, but Mississauga will look after the Mississauga issues. So that's what the whole board does for the membership. Okay, um, I'm going to ask uh, Aisha and also Nelson that uh, value proposition to joining Mississauga board. Before I speak to Ken about his institution, uh, can you add to that? Uh, why Realtor will join Mississauga Real Estate Board? Well, uh, Nelson is chair of communication and he puts out all these great uh, things that we bring to our membership. So I'm going to let you expand on that, Nelson. Well, well the, the Mississauga Board went through, a, I would guess we could say a renaissance a couple of years ago, and we kind of went through what, what was our meaning, what was our importance to all of our members? Uh, what could we provide back? What was the future of real estate? What can we help to for our agents to grow their business? So, you know, one of the things as we looked at is that our agent, our membership came back to us and said we wanted exposure to the Ontario Regional uh, MLS system because a lot of the deal business that's done in Mississauga um, sometimes it's too expensive to stay in Mississauga, so they moved west. So we brought back an MLS system uh, and worked with them. Many of our members are proudly members of both the Toronto Real Estate Board and. Uh, the Mississauga Real Estate Board, so it gives them increased access to uh, sold data, accuracy of information that was unprecedented now in today's marketplace. Uh, so th these are some of the things, and we also looked at it and we said, okay, how can we help our real estate agents to grow their business? And we looked at a number of initiatives that we could provide, some benefits, some value-add benefits that can, the agents can monetize, that they can use uh, we can leverage the size of the board, which we're now over a thousand members. We're very proud of yes, that. Yeah. And with that size comes some benefits when we approach different people. And some of the programs we brought in in the last year and a half, Asha, do you want to talk a little bit about them? Absolutely. Before we go there, everybody loves stories. And I know that. So Nelson and I, we need to tell you something. 2016, I was the president of the Mississauga Real Estate Board at that time as well. Nelson and I, we had a we had a talk where Nelson was going to actually not be part of Miss Saga Real Estate Board because at that time membership was feeling, what is the board doing for you? Mm -hmm. And we had a very clear conversation where, what did you say to me, Nelson? I said, for us to be part of a board, we have to be able to, uh, the board has to be, it's not the price that you pay to a board, is what are you getting that helps you in your business to grow your business. Um, so in that meeting at that time, we sat down and we wrote down a number of initiatives, MLS systems, value added, CRMs. Um, what, what do agents use that are their tools in their daily business 
that we can help them by making it more affordable or just part of the system. And that was a long discussion and it really set the groundwork for a lot of the changes that have come since Yeah, then. I remind you guys because I'm a proud member. Do you guys remember this? Can you focus this on, please? <laughs> remember that, that uh, when we were uh, going to the mem uh, mayor uh, election, mm -hmm. uh, when Bonnie Krambi became a mayor, uh, Mr. Wilson Board presented uh, a, a, a pledge, asked the mayor to pledge not to raise the land transfer tax. Do you remember that, this one? Yeah. We do. And and can you tell us about what, what happened? And uh, so we did not get the second land transfer tax as the, Toronto has it. Okay, so this is there again comes down to the organized real estate, why you want to be part of your board. When Toronto, as you know, has their own city tax, where Mississauga was going to implement as well, that would have become a second land transfer tax that people would have had to pay for being part, living in Mississauga or purchasing in Mississauga. So we lobbied with the help of Ontario Real Estate Association, and Fazi Matar was the president yes, at that time. Yes, and kudos to Fazi because he really worked hard at that. And we were able to go to the city hall, we presented our case, and as you know, Mayor Crombie was going to be uh, mayor at that time, and she had these buttons she wore very proudly, no to the second okay. land transfer tax. So we thank the mayor at the, at, who was going to be a mayor at that time, but board worked really hard to be able to keep the land transfer tax out of Mississauga. All right, now I think uh, Ken is sitting there, so I think want to get him engaged yeah, a little bit. So Ken, Ken uh, can you tell us about history of REIC? Uh, to our people, uh, our audience. Definitely. So, uh, 65 years as well. So, it's uh, been around for a while. Started out uh, uh, with uh, Korea, the Canadian Real Estate Association, but broke apart because uh, the REIC wanted to focus on education and not uh, governance. So, it's been around for quite a while. The uh, designations that are available are the uh, CLO, which is a Certified Leasing Officer, the uh, CRES, the Certified Real Estate uh, Specialist, and uh, the FRI, which is the Fellow of the Real Estate Institute. So what uh, this is, it's realtors and people involved in the real estate industry, such as uh, leasing professionals, join together to, to unite and support each other, to network. It uh, stands for higher education and uh, just a higher level of service. So. People that are members are uh, they're across Canada. I'm part of the uh, local Toronto chapter with uh, Tahir as well. And what it does is basically, you know, it brings people to the next level of their career. So the, the, the REIC is a national institute. Uh, do they have any chapters? Can you tell us about it? So yeah, definitely. There are chapters across Canada from uh, coast to coast. There's a, a national conference every year that uh, brings together the members. And on the uh, chapter level, there are quite a few events. There are seminars, uh, building tours, and uh, networking events. So the other one question is about designation. You already mentioned the Fellow Real Estate of Canada. Where do they go, these realtors go, and, and seek more information about this designation program? So there is a head office in Toronto. The website is reic.ca. There's an education coordinator that uh, deals with all the courses. Uh, there's uh, several others as well for uh, property managers and uh, mortgage professionals as well. So what is the, uh, the role of the board of directors at a chapter level and the committees, what they do on, uh, for the public as well as for the membership? So the, uh, on the chapter level, the uh, directors uh, handle and uh, oversee everything for the chapter. You know, they uh, approve and organize the events. So, well, there's a, the events and education committee and a uh, communication uh, committee. So they oversee the committees. Uh, there's currently uh, an FRI task force that is just looking for ways to uh, improve the membership and uh, increase the benefits for the members. So since, Ken, we are sitting with the president and vice president of Misaka University Board, are you planning to reach out to them for some FRI education program, work with Misagra the board? So yeah, no, definitely. So uh, the, the national office handles the, the education and the Toronto chapter has been a strong advocate to, to reach out to all the boards. But, you know, being so uh, close in the, uh, you know, together in the GTA, uh, yeah, no, they definitely want to get more involved 
with Mississauga Board? I think there have been some programs run at the Mississauga Real Estate Board mm -hmm. Office along with your organization. And it's a great organization that elevates the industry. It uh, does great work, so we're mm -hmm. very proud of that. Yeah, no, and it's great to see the, the alignment, you know, the, you know the, the boards, the real estate boards and the Real Estate Institute of Canada want to go in the same direction. So it's, uh, it's great. It's really improving the industry overall. Okay, so I have a question for you, Aisha. Uh, why the realtor joined the local board? Why the realtor board and what it can help them to do better job, empower them, like Nelson said. How can you empower the, your membership or ask them so you can talk to the audience? And uh, then we'll also, the second question is, is that why the consumer consider uh, Miss Saga board member doing business with them? Sure. First of all, I forgot to mention that here is also a director at the Mississauga Real Estate Board, and I congratulations to that. Uh, he's our newest uh, director to the board. Why should the realtor become part of Mississauga Real Estate Board? Real estate is not just about selling homes. It's all about the service you provide to your consumer, to the, to the whole city of Mississauga. We live in Mississauga, we know Mississauga, we sell in Mississauga. So every member of Mississauga Real Estate Board is proud to say they know their community. As the consumer, I would like to also ask them, ask your realtor if they are a member of the Mississauga Real Estate Board. Mississauga is the sixth largest city in Canada. We have over half a million jobs that we have in the city of Mississauga. People come to do the jobs, but they also live here, they work here. We would like our Mississauga realtors to service their community, and you can do that by all the extra services we're providing for our membership now. We have brought them the second MLS system, so they are part of Toronto Real Estate Board, but they are also part of Otis, where there are 23 boards are now part of that. That is almost Ontario Collective. They are able to have access to all the way now going to Ottawa or Muskoka, anywhere you want to, Kitchener, Waterloo, all of those areas are covered. Plus, for the realtors to be uh, really good in the profession, they need all the tools. We have top producer for them at a very uh, discounted price. We have Incom, that is a website that they can have now through being a part of Mississauga Real Estate Board. They get a discount on that, so over $600 savings annually. We have Exact, that we just signed the contract. Mm -hmm. We're really happy to do it. That's huge saving. I think it's over almost about 60 to 70 percent savings for them. Then we also have Move Snap that our membership is able to use for their clients. And of course, Sentry Lock. That's the other part that our realtors have access to that. So when you think about Mississauga realtors, this is all the stuff that's available to them. Yeah, I remember that uh, when I went to real estate and I was sitting in Mississauga Real Estate Board when my brokerage was registered in RICO and I joined them. It was 20 March 2007. Wow. So I'm very proud of it. Uh, we have a brilliant, dedicated uh, real estate leaders in our board, our staff that is working with us to implement the board mandate and policy. They are great. So this is a great way of uh, coming and joining the board and also using our quality education program, which we're going to talk a little bit later. Now, the, uh, the other thing is, you know, the Misaga board, like we are board as a community, as a family. We are a family. And we treat our customer, client as, as a family. So what Misaga board is doing, charity and contribution to the community, can you uh, elaborate so they can see we are not just a realtor doing for business, we are also helping and I saw, Nelson, you had, you were doing some habitat stuff, uh, construction, so maybe you enlighten us about the contribution that we are making other than just real estate. Well, one of the things that we're very proud of is the charitable work that we do in our community. So um, last year we reconnected with Habitat for Humanity and we helped build a, a semi up in uh, Malton that's almost finished this year. So there'll be two families living in there. Uh, and, our, and our local members uh, very graciously donated money towards that. We raised almost $10,000 and uh, they also donated their time. Um, we've been involved with, uh, we're also the dam and the Mississauga Food Bank. We're very active 
in the Mississauga Food Bank. Uh, we've raised a lot of money and we, we believe strongly in supporting our community and giving back to the community that supports us as well. But I think one thing to note is we've, we've also evolved, although we're strongly centered in Mississauga, we now have offices that are members of the Mississauga Real Estate Board all over southern Ontario, as far out as Niagara Falls. Wow. So we have members that see the value of the tools and systems that we provide, the education and everything that we do for our members to say, hey, we want to be part of Mississauga. We want to have MoveSnap. We want to have the, the Incom websites. We want to benefit from all, uh, the programs, the charitable events. And uh, we've been working hard at that. And over the last year in communications, that's been... Um, my main focus is one creating a consistent message to get out to our members so that people aren't saying what, what is Mississauga board doing right um, we're on all of our channels now we're on our websites are active our social media platforms we're now on to expanding to more in the coming weeks and months um, and we have a fantastic team at the Mississauga board that does a great job of getting our press releases and our announcements out and getting out the message to everyone that they should be part of the Mississauga Real Estate Board. Before we forget, we have realtors stored at the Mississauga Real Estate right. Board. That is one of the things that every realtor should go check it out. We have all the items that you need for to be able to go and buy that. For being part of the Mississauga Real Estate Board, you have a discounted price. If you're not part of the Mississauga Real Estate Board, then of course you pay the regular price. So another reason to become part of the Mississauga I Real Estate to go Board. I to Toronto to get my stuff. Now I go to my home board because it's easier two minute drive to the place and uh, get uh, whatever I need. Absolutely. Uh, plus to chat with our uh, staff and also the... Aren't they great? Uh, they're amazing. They're really awesome. uh, Great. Amazing. Yeah. So we're going to continue the conversation and now we're going to ask um, Ken uh, that um, you already mentioned about seminars because they're very educational. You also talk about the network and all that stuff. Can you elaborate a little bit what type of seminar that is being done that uh, interact because the uh, purpose of joining uh, uh, and uh, attending the seminar is networking because we rub off knowledge and experience by sharing knowledge and meeting uh, seniors. So can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yes, definitely. Yeah, there's definitely an opportunity for uh, networking uh, before and after the seminar, but uh, the seminars themselves create uh, great value. We just had one recently with uh, Barry LeBeau, who is uh, an FRI as well. He's been a, a real estate uh, broker for a few decades. And uh, he did a seminar on um, uh, being a, um, what is it? Uh, was it litigation, uh, arbitration, and uh, yeah, a professional witness, uh, expert witness, I believe. Yeah, expert witness. Yeah. So, uh, so that was great because you know, he gave a lot of inside information about, uh, you know, being an expert witness, just some, uh, you know, some methods that he used in regards to uh, collecting information. And uh, so they also uh, uh, do seminars that, uh, it's called the Industry Leaders Seminar. And what this one is, is a seminar that uh, they bring in the uh, CEOs from different uh, real estate organizations. And they tell their story. It's uh, always quite motivating and inspiring. So uh, one other event uh, that uh, they're about once a month for the events uh, or seminars and uh, billing tours, which uh, the billing tours are very interesting as well. We just did a uh, building tour of the Canada Life Building in downtown Toronto. And you know you get to see a behind the scenes tour of the, uh, the building systems, uh, all the new technologies and uh, you know, we get some good information on uh, what are the latest uh, building systems. Yeah, I remember that I attended one of the Union Station uh, uh, behind the scene uh, tour. Oh, yeah, the, remember uh, that was amazing, tour. wasn't it? Yeah, so that was a hard hat tour. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we were taken down to the, uh, the third level, I believe, down at uh, Union Station. when uh, So it was still under construction at the time. We've got to see, uh, you know, what uh, measures they were taking to, to go down the extra level, all you know, the uh, safety requirements. So it's, uh, yeah, you that get was to see uh, quite a bit of interesting yeah. things. Okay, so the, the, when you are joining a, 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 prof a professional organization, because Real Estate Institute of Canada is an institute, they are not a trade organization, they promote uh, highest education leadership and, uh, and, uh, and this is not required under the law. If you are passionate about real estate, 
you seek knowledge because when you acquire new designations and knowledge, you are able to serve your client better. So I encourage all realtors who are listening to go and seek higher knowledge because it's help you to do a job better for your client. So I'm going to go back to Aisha uh, about the charity work. I know one time um, uh, Nelson, I was not able to do uh, attend that time when I saw Nelson on the hat wearing building a house is habitat. That means directors are physically building the house along with the workers. So this is amazing passion that you see and commitment from our directors and part of our Misagaro State Board. So they're dedicated, they're, they want to see, uh, want you to be successful. And also they want consumer to know that we are there behind our realtors and supporting them. So now, the, can you tell us, Aisha, a education program, what kind of education program are available right now to the realtors who are joining Misaga board and if you have any plan for any some interaction with the consumer as well in the future. Well, uh, Tahir, what, we have an um, education committee yes. that decides what courses we're going to be providing to our realtors. Most of our courses are designed so that can bring up professionalism, the tools they need, or any special skills they need for them to be able to provide the best, better service to, the, to their consumer. We directly, as a board, we do not deal with the consumer because our mandate is that we work for our membership, okay. and that's what we do. But as you can see, when you work in a community and you are, you are helping the community in other ways. Land transfer tax was one of the things. Yes. There was uh, the previous uh, Ontario government was going to bring in um, energy audit. We actually, when we found out about that, it was very scary because the way they were coming out with any home to be sold in Mississauga, they were going to require to have a full energy audit done. We all believe we should be energy efficient, but you cannot make it mandatory for the audit to be done. Yeah, the scary. government did not think about how many uh, inspectors they were going to need and what if somebody has to sell a house because they are moving out of town or there is a marriage breakup or some other hardship has happened. They will not be able to sell their home because the energy audit is not complete. So we worked with the government at that time to be able to bring them to a realization that was not a very practical way to bring that. So it's not only just for membership, it was for consumer because consumer needed that protection and we as realtors and organized real, real estate were able to bring that to the table. Fantastic. I if I could great. add one thing to that, sure, I should tell them about the sign bylaws as well. Yes. Yeah. How instrumental we were with that. Uh, that's another thing that we want to, it's for public and also for realtors. City of Mississauga, as you know, and other cities have also implemented them. They wanted to restrict the number of open house signs that can be put in the city and for sale signs as well and coming soon sign. So we work with the city. We actually went and presented to them again to seeing why we needed and how many we needed. We worked together. We have a great relationship with the city of Mississauga. Definitely. We just had our meeting with the mayor. We, we thank her for that because this is how we work together. This is Mississauga Real Estate Board and this is the city hall. We all care about the people who live in this city. And we were able to work together so the Mississauga members now know how many real estate signs they are allowed to keep on the, on when they're doing the open houses. That was becoming a nuisance by having too many signs that was actually becoming really hard for the public to navigate. Yeah, I remember I attended that uh, and seminar. you gave a passion speech on Yes, that. you yes, did. I was not a member of the Saga board that time. I did as an independent. The, the city of Mississauga uh, council passed the law on, on open houses on Saturday to Sunday, you cannot place sign before 10 a.m. Yeah. And, you, and you must remove it by 6 p.m. And you cannot leave it overnight because they will penalize you. Yes, Correct? absolutely, the, absolutely. The, the yep. verdict of it. Yep. So this is why it happened because uh, lots of uh, complaints were coming. It was bad even though I believe there are many, many Realtors are not member of Misaga board and they're making mistakes. Yes. But you have to take in the leadership and 
created this uh, presentation and they agree with you. Yes. Well, because the downside of that is if we continue to flaunt the laws, they'll take it away from us. Yes. And how do you re run a real estate business if you can't put up your open house signs yes. and uh, to market your property? So this is amazing because uh, you are, uh, Ms. Haga board, the board of directors are very active and engaged. And by the way, they, they're all in real estate. They have their own brokerage. Everybody has their own business. But when they work for Misaga Real Estate Board, they are working for not-for-profit. They put aside their personal interest for the betterment of the membership. So this is one to make it clear. So this is very important. Now, Ken, uh, what are the events that are coming up in the next uh, couple of months that uh, in national or residential uh, uh, chapter level? Because I know... There's well, some yeah. AGM. Yeah, so, no, there's uh, definitely a lot of uh, events coming up. There's uh, some charity events. They're doing a, uh, a bowl of fun as well. The uh, National Conference is coming up in Edmonton. So uh, Tahir and I are uh, scheduled to, uh, to attend that. Uh, let's see, there's um, more of the Industry Leader Series. They're going to, uh, they do about two a year, and they're held in uh, downtown Toronto as well. The Toronto chapter has AGM, uh, wasn't it, uh, in yes. April? Yeah, the AGM is coming. Uh, it's every April. So uh, there's going to be uh, a turnover with a uh, new president and uh, some new board members. Yeah, so REIC has a national board and we'll also have a chapter. Uh, I'm also director of uh, REIC Toronto chapter. So we have our AGM coming up uh, in April. And then we have a national, which we, me and Ken are flying out to uh, Edmonton. Edmonton, Alberta, to attend our national conference and AGM, and where we talk about the issues and, uh, and uh, setting up the new nomination and election of the new directors. So it could be very exciting because remember we went to Halifax uh, oh, yeah. two years ago together and when... Definitely an adventure. <laughs> yeah. So Ken has received Community Service Award uh, last year. Uh, and I received it uh, in 2017, I believe. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what happened is that the working for a board for not-for-profit is a volunteering. You're giving your quality family time for your profession, helping implement policies and procedure. So the all boards recognize the contribution made by, by the directors, president, vice president, and all board of directors. So they are recognized uh, by, by giving them thumbs up for doing a good job. And this is a, a goodwill. It motivates other people to volunteer as Aisha has asked other realtors to please join in committee. So please learn because it's a giver's gain. You more give, the more you gain. And volunteering, if you want to make a difference in people's life, volunteer for your board or your community. Yes, so, yeah, I'd just like to add on that. So the, the more you put into the organizations, the more you volunteer, the more you get out of the, the organization. So that's great that the Mississauga Board has grown so much and they're doing so much for the community. It's helping out a lot. So, you know, if you're a realtor, you know, volunteer more, get more involved with your boards. And, you know, if you know realtors out there, you know, ask them what they're doing for the community and for the real estate boards because... If everybody gets involved, the industry improves, and it's just better overall for everybody. Um, yes, before, before we go any further, uh, we just had the conference that Ontario Real Estate Association hosted. Nelson Goulart, our own vice president, actually received from Realtor Care Foundation the Spirit Award. It was a great honor, and... Nelson did not know anything about it, so we kept it a secret. And when his name, he saw his picture on the screen. Wow. And congratulations. I, I, and Nelson is not quiet, as you can see. And he was completely dumbfounded that he, he received that award. And we were really thrilled because he's done so much for the community and all around that he was able to receive that award. So thank well, you very congratulations, much. Congratulations, Nelson. Uh, you you most deserve it because... Uh, Anytime I need some help, I call him. He's a mentor for everybody. Okay. So the, uh, you know, if I could add just something to the volunteers. Sure. Sure. Um, I was one of those people who was not very involved in volunteering for many years in this industry, now 31 years. Um, you always want someone else to do it. You want, 
you want to show up at the meetings and complain why things aren't done, but you don't do anything about it. And after that meeting in um, 2016, when I met with Asha and Ray from our office, I was inspired to see how they took the the role and they took it they took it forward and they started implementing changes. And I often say to our office because some of those changes were inspired by my own office in discussions we had. Um, this industry is very good to us. Uh, to most of us who have had a career in real estate, it's provided for our families. And I think there should be more of a focus on us turning to our membership and saying, you know, this industry has been really good to all of us. How about if you donate a year of, of volunteering just to give back to the industry that's been good for us? It's provided for our children's education. It's put a roof over our heads. And sometimes we forget that. We just get caught up in all the things that are the industry. But it's really nothing without you. Um, I know for me, to having inspired by Asha and the team over Misaga Board, I'm appreciative a lot more of the things that are getting done. Um, people are noticing, people are enjoying the benefits of the people who are volunteering. We have a great group of Mississauga in Mississauga, but I agree with you, Ken. It's like, it's not just about Mississauga, it's whatever community that people are watching out there today. If you're Kitchener, if you're Windsor, if you're uh, Niagara Falls, whatever market you're in, volunteer for your board, give back to it. Even if you just give one term and you're just a volunteer on a board of directors, you provide yeah. your input, you give the voice from your office, from the people that you know, you'd be surprised what that little bit of inspiration and direction can provide. And uh, so that's just my two cents on volunteer, but everyone should at the very least volunteer for one term on a real estate board to give back to the industry. And it's not only just being a director, you can just be a volunteer on exactly. a committee. Mm -hmm. We have committees yeah. and they need help. So we, any, any of these committees that you choose, come and be part of that. That's how you learn what your board is doing for you, what your directors are doing for you. We are all volunteers. We do not get paid for that. The board is not for profit. We want to make sure we are getting it done. If you want to improve education, join the committee that's education. Okay, if you improve on any of those things, join the committees, uh, what you enjoy doing. Okay, we're going to take a little break and then we're going to start the program again. At Dame Drops told us how good Popeye's buttermilk biscuit shrimp is without us even asking. Mmm, so crunchy, buttery, just like those biscuits. Are you hungry yet? Eight shrimp, a side, and a biscuit for just six ninety nine. At KM9000, sang about Popeye's buttermilk biscuit shrimp because he was feeling it. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Eight shrimp, a side, and a biscuit for just six ninety nine. A non-stop entertainment show with comedy. I'm Shri Nakhli Amitabh Bachchan. Shri Asli Salman Khan ke saamne khada wao. Dancing. <laughs> Singing. Teri chunariya Dil le gai And live interaction with Salman Khan. Aisha, I'm going to ask you to give your final comment uh, before we close the program. Well, first of all, if you're working in Mississauga, please be part of Mississauga Real Estate Board and be proud of that. The other thing we are also doing for charity is we also do an annual golf tournament, and it's for charity. Whatever money we raise, it goes towards the Mississauga Food Bank or any of the other charity that's chosen by the Board of Directors. So be part of your community. Do Be a volunteer. Whichever way you can help us and support us, we'll be happy to have your help. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Delson? Thank you. Um, I hope we've, we've given you some more insight about what's involved in running an organization like the, the Mississauga Real Estate Board. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of caring, and it takes a lot of giving back. Um, we hope we've convinced you at least to consider participating in your local board and uh, 
there's lots to do and we always enjoy seeing more faces. We're a very inclusive group. Um, so if you could, would like to participate, feel free. But if you don't participate locally in Mississauga, then whatever board you participate in or belong to, thank you for your gift of your time tonight. And uh, we'll hope to see you around our uh, board meetings. Thank you, Ken. So I'm part of the uh, Toronto Regional uh, Real Estate Board, but also the uh, Oakville Middleton and District Board. So yeah, I've been inspired. So. Uh, you know, I think I can get more involved as well because I've, uh, you know, been very involved with the Real Estate Institute of Canada, but, you know, getting involved with the local boards is extremely important. And it's the best way to get knowledge of all the benefits and to network with your uh, local uh, realtor professionals. So uh, thank you to here for uh, doing this uh, premiere episode. So we look forward to many more. Thank you very much. Well, I take this opportunity to thank my guest uh, for participating in this panel to educate you about real estate uh, functions, responsibility, and your local board, Misaka Real Estate Board. It's a great honor to be sitting beside them. I hope that this program was any education to you. Our goal is to continue to increase awareness and building trust in real estate uh, for all our consumers and our realtors to join our respective boards. Our next program will be on Awaz Entertainment on Thursday at 7 p.m. We will be announcing the new topics. Mostly, uh, I'm hoping to, uh, to have real estate profession, how to be successful in real estate profession. That will be the topic on next Thursday at 7 p.m. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.